Hey, what's up guys? This is your boy Dr. ZZ and I'm back again with my second video and I wanted to address in this video of how I study for PLAB or basically what my plan henceforth is to study for PLABs. But I have to say straight up that I am a medical student and I'm still in medical school. I've graduated in a couple more months so my study plan might be different to most of you because some of you guys actually are working or probably you guys are doctors and you have a much more shorter period to study but this but the thing is that but the thing is that most of the core principles are still the same and you could use the same principle to set up your study plan if you want to so um let's get on it so the first thing that i did was i wanted to plan out because i believe that without a plan and without a goal you're not putting in your 100 percent. so i wanted to decide how much time i rec i need to actually study for plabs and for me, it was a bit different because I'm planning to take two exams. I'm planning to take PLAB and one of my, one of my country exams. So I had to do a bit more extensive study, basically. First thing that I did was I figured out how many subjects that there were for PLABs. And I decided how much time do I need to study for these subjects. Now, quote unquote, study in my case means peer reviewing and reviewing all the materials that you've done. Because in the past six years, a lot of things that you did you probably forgot or there have been subjects where you're not very strong at so I had subjects like that so I had to decide which subjects require much more of my time and the, and the other ones I could give less time so I could basically go through them um, and second thing that I decided was by when do I want to finish studying for this exam so my plan was that I wanted to finish studying for this exams by June 1st what I mean saying once again when I mean by studying it means just peer reviewing the material because you never stop studying until the exam actually happens so uh, I decided that it had to be on June 1st because that's when I finish my medical school as well and I graduate at one month after so it will be perfect time for me to finish studying for it and after that I'll just be doing question and answers and question and answers and henceforth so the second thing that I did was I wrote down the entire plan as to how much which subjects that I'm gonna do when and how much time they require and I posted it right on where I study I mean if you look at that maybe you don't see it but I'm gonna put a screenshot or maybe I'll show a video that I actually put it into writing so I, every time I sit down to study I can look at the plan and I'm always working towards that goal and I highly and I highly recommend you doing the same thing you know because when you look at it every single day you know you have a goal to accomplish by that week or within the uh, span of two weeks or whatever the third thing is <laughs> the third thing is the most simplest but the most difficult at the same time and i for me it was because it is basically sticking to your plan um the thing is it's pretty difficult in medical school to get everything done because you know you are overwhelmed with so much work and especially me being in the sixth year there's so much work to be done uh that sometimes i do fall behind my goals of studying for plabs but i still Look, but keeping everything in perspective helps me go forward. Um, one thing that I do that I can even recommend you is to actually have a dot journal. Uh, if you don't know what a dot journal is, I will leave the link in the description below. I basically, it basically helps me to map out my whole week or map out my whole day and map out my whole month in advance. So I know that I'm staying on top of my goals. Um, sometimes I do... I do go astray and I'm not able to keep up because with all the work, but I try my best to do it. And if you have a tough schedule, a dot journal will help you immensely. I mean, it's helped me so much. So I will suggest you to take a, have a dot journal as well. The last is time management. Now this is a key, like because in medical school, as a medical student, I have so many other things to do other than uh, studying for PLABS. I still have to go for classes. And probably you are a doctor who is already working and you're doing PLAB at the same time or you are probably a, um, a parent or you have uh, kids to take care of or whatever it is. Time is of utmost important, so it's very important for you to like find out where most of your time goes and if you can crunch some of the studying during that time. Uh, so once again, a dot journal really helps me with that. Even if you have 15 minutes, if you have some material with you and if you quickly go through it, it is still studying. Like a lot of people don't believe me, but even a 15 minute of review still does help. A 15 minute here, a 15 minute there, and at the end of the day, you've ended up studying for one hour and you're not even burnt out. So I highly suggest you to take a look at the dot journal links below and probably uh, add this to your whatever that you're doing and maybe it will help you to manage your time. So that's about it for this video, guys. 
If you really enjoyed the video, please be sure to go into YouTube if you are watching this on Facebook and give me that, click on the red subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment if you want to see some kind of videos that I should be making that could help you. Um, plus, and if you found me on YouTube, hit that red subscribe button. It really motivates me to make much more video for you guys, seeing that, you know, you guys actually benefit from these videos. But uh, that's about it. Let's keep each other motivated and let's keep working hard. Take it easy. Peace.